There's a new restaurant and a lot of buzz in South Louisville. Dozens of cars lined up waiting for a meal at Jack in the Box. WDRB's Dalton Godby, photojournalist Frank Stamper, and our intern, Riley Hemmer, checked out the excitement and how it's growing along Dixie Highway. What happens when a vegan photojournalist, an intern, and a TV reporter roll into Jack in the Box? We're going to have to find out. That's what we're finding out. The chaos begins in Valley Station and can be seen from a distance on Dixie Highway. A line snaking around a restaurant and through a parking lot. How long is it going to take us to get through? They, they move pretty fast. Move pretty fast. That's what we like to hear. It's a line that moves pretty fast, but there's a lot of moving to do. All right, we're starting the timer see how long it takes us to get through. Here we go. And no one seemed to be too bothered to wait. Yeah, I didn't expect it. I'll tell you that. This is my second time here. So uh, we came Saturday and the food's great. And so definitely worth the wait too. But the further into the wait, we were having to keep ourselves occupied. silver dollar, I can't take my silver And we enlisted some help from a pro. Dalton got me. Gilbert, I've called to get some help from you. Hold on one second. Currently in the drive through at Jack in the Box and we don't know we don't know what to get um tacos are delicious are you doing a story on the fact that there's a line of tacos at uh jack in the box potentially oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> gilbert ultimately recommended the tacos the same tacos and everything else that are bringing these people to valley station in droves i think it's great it's great for jack in the box it's great for valley station metro so, councilwoman cindy fowler has seen the recent growth on dixie highway and says it's taking on new life a new McAllister's and marco's pizza have opened up just down the road and a five guys is nearly ready to open its doors it's an area of louisville that is making progress after a lot of loss we didn't lose it overnight and it's not going to come back overnight but i feel certain that we are moving in the right direction i've lived here my whole life and i think it's great for the area back in line is jack supposed to be a clown or is jack in the, in the box like, do, do, like do, the do, jack do, do, in do, do, the do, do, box do, do, do. okay gotcha. and right. more than 50 minutes later we're getting close to the food. Taco and burger combo hit the spot. People are paying attention now. Yeah. And uh, so I think the opportunity is, is right. With photojournalist Frank Stamper, Dalton Godby, WDRB News. 50 minutes. Is it worth the wait, Gilbert? I don't know. I didn't wait. <laughs> so you would say no. <laughs> well, now, let, I do know. Um, I've been Jack in the Box a lot of times. I was excited. It's not far from my house, right? Uh -huh. So uh, I was excited that we were getting one here. But when I drove up last night and saw that they had the same event security that it takes to get into Churchill Downs, <laughs> and they told me it was going to be an hour, I was like, mm -mm, nope, can't do it. No, thanks. Um, so, you know, I'll get there eventually. And I think the poor intern. <laughs> <laughs> She, the, the intern getting a first-hand look at Journalism, journalism. 101, yep. <laughs> opening of Jack in the Box.